good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Saturday the 5th of August. Our opening music this evening is Will Todd's The Call of Wisdom. Let us pray. We place our souls and bodies under your guarding this night, O God. O Father of help to frail pilgrims, protector of heaven and earth. We place our souls and bodies under your guiding this night, O Christ. O Son of the tears and the woundings, may your cross this night be our shield. We place our souls and bodies under your glowing this night, O Spirit, O gentle companion and soul friend, our heart's eternal warmth. Amen. We continue this evening our look at the teaching of Jesus as he entered Jerusalem in his final days. Our reading and reflection this evening come under the title, The Temptations of Power. We look at verses from Luke chapter 20. While all the people were listening, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honour at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. Thanks be to God. And now our reflection. The late Archbishop Desmond Tutu made a habit while travelling abroad of always making his own bed, even in hotels. He would explain to the staff that he was not dissatisfied with their work, but it was his way of keeping himself grounded and not being carried away by either popularity or fame. As the servant of a humble king, I think his master would have approved. Jesus was never afraid to challenge the religious leaders of his day or expose their faults to his disciples, lest they should imitate a wrong model of leadership. He set an example of humility and integrity, which he expects us to imitate. Servant leadership is not weak leadership. It is a prime temptation among leaders to get carried away by their status and to love the praise of other people. Even within the church there can be a celebrity culture. While we should honour our leaders and those who preach God's word, we do them no favours by putting them on a pedestal. Jesus is clear that leaders should not use their position of influence for personal gain or to take advantage of those who put their trust in them. Neither should they like the sound of their own voice or be carried away by their own eloquence, especially in prayer. Those who find themselves in the spotlight and whose giftedness endears them to people should remember who they serve and seek to live and minister with humility. They must be aware of the subtle dangers inherent in, inherent in prominence and power and the corrosive effect adulation can have on their own spiritual lives. Leaders will be judged with greater strictness. Of those to whom much is given, much will be required. Amen. We come now to our prayers for the world. This evening in our prayers, we pray and continue to pray for those who are affected by the forest fires, those in southern Europe and in Greece, 
and those in North America and in Canada. We pray for those whose lives are blighted by war. And we pray for all those who are persecuted for their faith and for their beliefs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We now join our prayers together in praying in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Holy Spirit, giver of light and life, impart to us thoughts better than our own thoughts and prayers better than our own prayers and powers better than our own powers that we may spend and be spent in the ways of love and goodness after the perfect image of our lord and savior jesus christ amen O Lord, protect us through the hours of this night, be they silent or stormy, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of a restless world may rest upon you eternally. You created the world out of love. Now we return to you in love. Let us rest in God this night and awake in newness of life. Amen. Amen.